Not too long ago, we showed you how to set up Streamlabs OBS for live streaming. Well, how do you specifically dial in the settings for streaming on Twitch? We're gonna discuss that in today's video. Welcome to Live Streaming Tech, where we're gonna show you how to live stream like a pro with technology you should know. Today, we are gonna focus on how you need to set up your Streamlabs OBS settings. That way you have a good live stream and nothing goes wrong. But first, let us know what type of content you'll be streaming on Twitch. We'd definitely love to hear from you, so just drop it down inside the comments. Take it away, Walt. Okay, before we open up Streamlabs OBS and I start showing you in the settings how to do, we gotta get some of the boring stuff out of the way. First, we need to ask ourselves, what is the maximum bit rate that Twitch will allow us to stream at? And that is 6,000 KPS, or as we know, six megabits per second. Which brings me to my second point. We need to do a internet test on our speeds. We're looking at our upload. And what you wanna do is you wanna open up Google, type in internet speed test, run it a couple times in the morning, run it a couple times in the afternoon, run it a couple times at night. What we're looking for is we're looking for an average and we're looking to see if we can actually hit that 6,000 KPS per second or six megabits per second. Now, just because you have six megabits per second upload doesn't necessarily mean you wanna set your upload on Streamlabs OBS. You want a little bit of wiggle room. So if you only have six megabits per second upload, you might wanna only max yourself out around 5,000 KPS or five megabits per second. That brings me to a third point. Bigger isn't always better. And the reason being is you have to ask yourself, what are your viewers watching you through? A lot of my viewers watch me through their mobile devices. They might be sitting at a McDonald's using the Wi-Fi hotspot or using 3G, or maybe they're far down the road from a 4G tower. The thing is, is if I'm uploading at 6,000 KPS per second, that means they have to download at that without having buffering issues. If you're uploading at 6,000 KPS and they're constantly buffering, they're just gonna go off and watch somebody else. That also means that any new viewers you might have might be coming into your channel and they might say, forget this, I'm out, and they're gonna go watch somebody else. You've lost a new follower that you haven't even gained yet. So now we're gonna get into the resolutions and the frames per second and at what bit rates we need to set our Streamlabs OBS at. First is 1080p at 60 frames per second. We need a minimum of 4,500 KPS per second to a max of 6,000 KPS per second. The next one is 1080p at 30 frames per second. We need 3,500 KPS and max 5,000 KPS. Let's go down to the next one. 720p at 60 frames per second is 3,500 KPS and 5,000 KPS. Now you ask yourself, well, wait a minute, Walt, you just said at 1080p at 30 frames per second is 3,500 to 5,000 KPS. So what gives? Well, you have to remember the more frames you are uploading, you need that much more upload speed to keep up with those frames. We're gonna talk about my last little safe zone, and that is 720p at 30 frames per second. We're looking for 2,500 KPS on upwards to 4,000 KPS. The reason why I say this is my safe zone is because I like to try to hit that target of 4,000 KPS. Why would you ask yourself? That's because I can jump back and forth between 720p at 60 frames per second and 720p at 30 frames per second with that 4,000 KPS. And I have no issues with it and my stream looks great. All right, before we start getting into settings, one more thing I need to cover, and that is set up a secondary Twitch page that no one knows about. Make that your test page. What that means is you're gonna stream to that page looking at your different settings and see what is optimal for you. Definitely try that. All right, let's head on over to Streamlabs OBS now where I can show you guys some stuff in settings. Now that we've covered bit rates, let's go ahead and apply that knowledge to Streamlabs OBS. First thing you need to do is log in to the Twitch platform through Streamlabs OBS. I've already done so. Next thing we need to do is go to settings. That is the sprocket up in the upper right hand corner. Click that. First, we need to check our video. The first number we are concerned with is our base canvas resolution. That is what you see. This is what you're playing. If you are playing on your monitor, such as I am at 1920 by 1080, that is what you want it to be set to. 
Second number is our output resolution. That is what we are uploading, and that is what the viewer will see. Now, let's turn this down. It's set to 1080, and I don't feel like streaming in 1080. I'm not playing a graphic intense game. So click that. I'm gonna drop it down to 720. So that's gonna be 1280 by 720. That is 720p. We're going to go ahead and drop that frame rate down too. We're at 60 frames per second. We're just going to play a card game. Drop it down to 30. Then we're going to click output. Make sure your output mode is selected to advanced. Let's skip all this. One thing we need to make sure is that our rate of control is set to CBR. That is constant bit rate. Now, here's our bit rates. These are the numbers we went over before. So we are now doing 720 at 30 frames per second. Those numbers were 2,500 KPS to 4,000 KPS. Let's go ahead and shoot for 4,000. I have the internet, why not? Make sure your CPU usage preset is at least set to very fast. This is why I recommend having a secondary Twitch page because these options you can play with. The slower the CPU usage preset is, the more CPU it uses. The faster, the less it uses. If you want to increase the quality, then you're gonna to wanna to go with a slower setting. But very fast, I have found works for me. Hit done. Now all we have to do is click go live and we are ready to start streaming. Now that you know how to dial in your settings for Streamlabs OBS, what do you need to do to create your own Twitch emotes and sub badges? Well, you're gonna take a look at that over here in this video. I'll see you over there.